There we go, give it a little gas. That's glorious. Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 2002 Porsche 911 Carrera 2 six-speed manual transmission. Uh, now this car here is kind of uh, really interesting. This is a local uh, bought here new in Wichita, Kansas, uh, special ordered uh, from our Porsche dealer, um, uh, seal gray metallic uh, 911 here with only 15,000 miles on it. I bought it from the original owner, picked it up at his house, and this was just his baby. This 911 right here is as close to a brand new O2 911 as you're gonna find. This is an amazing car. I mean, you stick your head inside the car and it just smells like it rolled off the assembly line. It just has that incredible leather luxury smell. Um, just a gorgeous color, the seal gray. Like if you look along the quarter panels there, and I got this spoiler in the up position. It's an active spoiler, comes up at a certain speed or you can manually put it up. I think it kind of looks cool up in the air like that. But uh, just look at the way the color goes off of the quarter panels. You know, you just don't see the curves of the car as well, like on a silver car or a white car, something like that. The seal gray really does the car justice. Absolutely gorgeous car, with gray interior. Um, we've got the original window sticker of the car, and we've got all of the maintenance records, everything from new. It's interesting, it's only got 15,000 miles on it, but it's got a stack of receipts and records. I mean, anytime this car ever needed anything, it went to the dealer. It's sitting on brand new Michelin Pilot Sports. Um, it really just doesn't get much nicer than this. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's as close to perfect as I think a person would ever find. This is a collector grade car right here for sure. Um, whoever buys this car is going to have a wonderful piece of history. Keep walking around the car here. And even on the receipts and stuff, one thing interesting to note, even though this car only has 15,000 miles on it, um, you know, he had probably heard talk about the IMS bearing and, uh, you know, and that sort of thing. So not one to basically cut any corners or take any chances. You know, this car has actually had a, a new updated IMS bearing installed also. And we have a manila folder. I'll show you when we get into the uh, front uh, luggage area. Uh, all receipts and records go with this car. So this car pretty much checks every box. Absolutely love these 996 Carrera 2s because uh, it's just really kind of one of the last kind of lightweight, small, nimble, 911s and they just keep getting more and more inundated with equipment and they get larger and larger really i think the 996 is from a driver's standpoint now i know there's some controversy over the headlights at least you know this one doesn't have the amber uh on the inside corner which you know i'll agree isn't the nicest looking but um but on the o2 here uh i think it looks fantastic uh it i really enjoy it uh but this car puts out 320 horsepower and uh, tips the scale just right at 3,000 pounds. So, I mean, that's really uh, an impressive, uh, you know, performance stat. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a surprisingly quick car. Um, it, it will absolutely put you back and just has such wonderful linear power. So let's kind of zoom in here. And uh, one thing I just start off with, you know, is these headlights. What's amazing though is this headlights look like they came off the showroom floor. We haven't done anything to these lights at all. This is exactly how we got the car. The only thing that we did uh, is I did have Van Gogh just do a light polish on it just to get you know any little teeny small swirls or anything out of the paint uh, just because it's that kind of car and it, if you look at it you'll see it's just absolutely immaculate looking across the bumper here the bumper is really about the only thing that shows anything at all but even at that i mean come on it's an o2 car and it does have 15,000 miles on it not 1500 so it you know has been driven uh, let's kind of look along the bottom here i mean 
golly, that is really good. I mean, there's maybe a little scratch right there, but look at that under tray. Coming across the front. Look in there. Maybe have a little bitty rock chip right there. Maybe just a couple of tiny, tiny rock chips. Make sure it's not. Actually, that just came off, so that was actually just a bug. <laughs> that feels like it's in the paint a little bit there. So a couple little tiny, tiny, tiny imperfections in the bumper cover. Looking around here, go ahead and show you this side. But I don't think you can argue that that is phenomenal. I mean, the Porsche, Porsche Crest looks like you took it out of a new old stock box. The left headlight, you could just tell this car literally has never set outside. It's actually kind of funny. The gentleman that I picked it up from, I mean, he was really proud of this car, obviously, for, you know, rightly so. But I almost felt like it was a warning, but he was like, now this car has never been in the rain. And he made it sure that I knew that this car had never been in the rain. In other words, don't you put it in the rain. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, check out the, man, I never even noticed. I mean, the seal gray just shows you the curves of this car, but look at the, look at the raised fender there. It shows the lines. Oh man, that is just beautiful. And there's really not much, uh, there's really not much to, to pick on. Like I said, that front bumper cover is probably going to be about the extent of it. Looking across the hood here, maybe one teeny, teeny nick right there. But that hood is pristine. I think there's a little bitty nick, a couple little bitty nicks in the windshield. But panning back, that's pretty much it on the windshield. Looking here at the wheels and tires, they are pretty much perfect. I could uh, wipe off some spots on them from when I washed it, uh, but you can see beyond that, obviously, the tires are from 20, 2020. So tires are virtually brand new receipts for everything, like I said. There is not a single ding, chip, or door ding going down the side of the car. Even the mirrors are pretty much immaculate. Looks like we got a little bit of a bug gunk still there. Looking across the roof. And that's just some rubbing compound there. Perfect on the roof. Looking along the back. I'll go ahead and show you the quarter panel here. Door handle doesn't have nicks, scratches, or any imperfections in that. Here is the rear wheel. I'll show you that. I'll show you the tread here too so you can see full tread depth front and rear full tread depth there keep going around the back same theme the taillights look like they came off the manufacturing line bumper is flawless Right tail light is flawless. Get down kind of low here for you. Got the cool exhaust coming out the back. These cars really have a great sound too. They revved at like seven grand, like I think 6,800 RPM Redline. Have a fantastic growl to them. Just a really athletic car. I think that's what I would call it. Lightweight. I think uh, I read where Magnus Walker uh, mentioned like a 996. I think it was like one of his favorite cars to drive. He just such a well-balanced just such a perfectly engineered machine and again 
no flaws on the wheels. Looking down the side, continuing that same theme of an immaculate car. Show you the mirror, no issues with the mirror. And looking across the roof from this side, looking at the passenger fender, no dings, no scratches. And the right front wheel. All right, let's take a tour inside the interior. All right, I'll show you the window sticker and it'll show you all the options and everything of the car, but I'll go ahead and pop in this interior here. The door jams are immaculate. Like I said, there has, the only thing that we did was had a, a light little buff down on this car. There literally was no, I haven't touched this interior. I haven't even vacuumed it. I haven't done anything to this interior. This is how I received the car. Door jams, threshold molding, little water spot right there. See that? Even the buttons, most of the time, all of the icons are rubbed off or coming apart. Buttons are falling off. But yeah, there's no really wear there. Go ahead and show you the seat here. The seat is pristine. There's the bolster. And looking up the driver's bolster. I mean, I wouldn't even touch that right there. Sometimes I'll have Dr. Vinyl touch up the seat, but I would not touch that at all at this point. Good slide in. 15,136 miles. And if you look here, we got the leather wrapped binnacle. It does have the incredible sound system in this car, actually. It's got the Bose. I'm guessing that's an option. Automatic climate control AC is ice cold. All the options there. Look at this shifter. I've seen where that silver gets worn off or the leather. You can see the color gets worn. But look, there is zero wear on that shifter. If anything, just a little bit of oil and dirt from your hands, you know, could use a nice little cleaning. But, you know, just showing you, this is the car as we got it. I didn't want to put any cleaning products in here, honestly, because I don't want to change the way this car smells. Um, you know, smell is just a huge factor of, in your memory center, and you just don't want to leave this one like it is. Steering wheel is in perfect condition. No issues there. Dash is perfect. There's, the interior is basically flawless. I'll show you. It does have the Alcantara headliner. Perfect condition. And then here, let's look at our floor mats. And I haven't even cleaned these. And the pedals. <laughs> I wish I wish we had smell a vision on this car. <laughs> look underneath the floor mats. What does it look like? I haven't even touched it. See right there, perfect nowhere on the mats. What you're seeing right there is actually a light. So, kind of a weird deal there. Carpets are perfect. Even, even where the seat controls are is perfect. Go ahead and pop in the back here. Back seat, probably never been sat in. Carpets are perfect, mats. Got my life too short, my Porsche Palooza hat back there. <laughs> Gotta keep that in the Porsche, ready to go for a drive in it. Around the other side here. Door panels are flawless, mint condition zero issues looking here at the door jams flawless door jams take a peek at the seat here flawless on the seat 
I always like to zoom in on the outside bolsters because that's where you get the wear. Again, looking across the dash, you'll see there is zero, no, you know, sun fading or cracking issues at the top. It just looks like it's never even seen sunlight. Here is our glove box, all of our manuals in here. So here is all of the owner's manuals. Everything that came with the car, probably and then some I'm guessing. Floor mats are perfect. Underneath floor mats, perfect. Here's a nice little passenger side view of the cockpit. Oh, there's the radio code in there, it looks like. <laughs> and here's our ashtray. Never been used. I mean, this is a time capsule car. Go ahead and show you the back seat here. Move my shirt and hat out of the way. And the rear seat is perfect. And seats do fold down, give you extra luggage capacity. The carpet's perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and pop the front and take a look. All right, we got the front opened up here as they speak. All right, here is our data sticker here with all the options. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a shot of the uh, window sticker too. But, you know, perfect. Never had a wrench on this car. Never been touched. Got the optional CD changer right there. Click that shut. And then down here in the well, here is our tag bracket. Got a couple different pieces of that. Go ahead and lift this up here for you. Here's the trunk and then here is the folder. You can see that that is a massive folder for a car with 15,000 miles on it. Unbelievable. I think you just look for excuses to take it to the dealer. Again, not detailed. How I found the car. Spare tire. There it is. Never been on the car. You can kind of tell because the lug bolt there or the cone area. Let me see if I can find that window sticker real quick. There's our radio and our serial number for the radio. Schofield Auto Plaza. Here it is. And this folder will come with the car. I'm not gonna publicly display this customer's personal information, but we'll go right here. O2 Carrera Coupe, seal gray metallic, graphite gray full leather. So I'll just let you look at all the options. the other side of the sticker this car was $81,000 when new right now this car is a bargain let's take a look in the engine bay not much really to see back here a little bit of dust on it I didn't you know, didn't want to wash anything back here when I washed the car. I, And then when I washed the car, actually, water kind of does leak through from the lid onto some stuff here. So I didn't clean anything back here. Just left it like it is. I believe even uh, Johnny from German Motor Works uh, has uh, done some service on this car as well. But this car is turnkey, ready to go. Put this car in your collection, take it out on special occasions, or start using it and drive it cross country. I mean, I do like to see cars get used. So let's go ahead and jump in this car and enjoy the most amazing part is the driving dynamics. Here we go. All right, we are strapped into the 911. Got the AC blowing nice here. Traffic is starting to get heavy now. Uh, on. <laughs> got some traffic weather alerts here. Uh, got the radio playing nice here does have the 
in dash cassette player. <laughs> so, so CD changer in the boot and cassette player here. So you can use a cassette adapter or FM modulated one, however you want to do it to play your iPod or whatever. But we're up to temperature now. Go ahead and turn that fan down just a little bit. And no trash control on this bad boy. Nice. Go ahead and roll out and take this thing for a drive. Oh man, this thing's so comfortable. I, uh, <laughs> I'd really like to just get in this thing and just drive and take a trip, to be honest with you. It's, I love these cars, and it's such a dilemma with this car because it's such low miles. Just a, you want to drive it, but can you just have two? <laughs> uh, one with 60,000 miles to drive and then this one to just preserve? <laughs> Why not? Such a smooth sound. Man, this car really feels special. So, literally zero mechanical issues, zero needs, zero maintenance concerns. It's just ready to go. So let's just talk about the driving it. Absolutely fantastic. Just such a linear. I've driven a 996 Turbo and they're fun and they got a big kick in the pants, but um, they're just not as light. You can feel the weight of the car and then, you know, the, the power kind of is just lacking on the bottom end and then it just kind of hits hard. This one just has such smooth torque and it just pulls all the way through the rev band. Absolutely love it. Here we go. Their braking capabilities. 
because when you're on the brakes, you know, you got the more bias in the rear, then you're really getting even pressure on all four contact points as the weight transfers forward. Here we go, give it a little gas. appreciate you guys riding along with us today. I hope you enjoyed this 911. Uh, look us up, EurasianAuto.com. Check out our website, see all of our cars on there. We've got over 40 cars uh, on our website right now. Um, appreciate you guys tuning into this YouTube uh, channel. Like and subscribe. Hit the notifications um, button. And that way, whenever we load up a new car, you'll get a notification and you'll be one of the first to get the opportunity to see it. Because you never know when we might have your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring.